Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to say all praises, honor, and glory to you. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the house of David. Salutations to you, brothers, throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity. To you, Israelite foreigners, come back home to the truth. To those that passed away serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. All right, uh, I already done this video, like, redid this video five times. You know, trying to trying to get it right, you know, not trying to put out the wrong message. Um, basically, on Saturday, I hung out with a couple brothers, with a few brothers from AOC and uh, brothers from Apostles of New Jerusalem and, and uh, a brother that used to be in the truth that left and now he seems like he wants to come back. Now, here, here's the thing about guys like him. And, and it's th th this thing is not about him, but I'm going to tell you a, a quick little uh, history lesson about him and, and what happened with his situation, right? So this guy... I won't mention him by name. He, years ago, he was in the truth about two years before I got into the truth. About four years after I came into the truth, he left the truth. Um, it was it was a split that happened, and people left the truth in waves. You know, the first wave was, you know, the bold ones that said, I don't give a fuck what they think. You know, we're going to do what we think is right according to you know whatever that's one wave wave number two um wave number two was let's see let's see what happens with these guys before we decide to leave you know wave number four No, no, wave number three was, uh, let's go back in the world and blame them for it. So he left with the third wave, which basically blamed the original church, HYK, that, that we all came out of for not showing them the way or whatever. Okay. 2004, he left. Fast forward to 2019, this year. Same guy. Um... Apparently, you know, I don't know, guilty conscience, whatever. He comes back, you know, he's coming back around Apostles of New Jerusalem. Basically, he's he misses the glory days. He wants to come back. Cool. Listen, you know, whether you're a, a soul that has been on the path, fell off and came back, or whether you're continuously, I, I would never turn off a brother that wants to serve the Lord. Um, this guy, he's, he's, he's a little different. First off, back in 2000 when I came into truth, you couldn't tell him that he was not over brothers because he was very, very, uh, just over. <laughs> like when I tell you over brothers, like he, he definitely exercised his, his, uh, position as being over brothers. You know, definitely talked down to brothers, definitely treated brothers like they were below him. Now, he wasn't blatantly like disrespectful, disrespectful, but he was just kind of like you could tell that he think he's the big dog on the block, and anybody under him is his plaything, basically. He could just say whatever the fuck he want, you know. And like I said, it wasn't like he wasn't blatantly like nigga what, you know, whatever. But he just had this whole smug attitude about him, you know, and you couldn't tell him shit. So fast forward to 2019 the motherfucker still has the same exact fucking attitude still thinks he's you know some big dog in the truth you know still talks too goddamn much like back then I used to get tired of him talking and part of the reason why I left HYK to begin with or the church of Israel was because of him like he's, he's just an annoying ass person you know but the lesson that I want to bring home besides try not to be annoying is he left the truth for 15 years he left in 2004 he waits till 2019 to want to get involved and he's still not in a garment yet his children have fringes which is cool but he ain't doing shit but spectating so you know as far as he's concerned he lost all the stripes. Every last stripe that he had for being in the truth, six years, he lost. 
back in 2004. When you turn your back, when you leave the truth, if you do want to come back, you lose all your stripes. So guys like him, for example, and there's another guy that I used to do the work with, with Sabak, who left probably even longer than 15 years. You know, guys like that, if you if you leave the truth, nigga, you're gonna come, if, if you choose to come back, or if the Lord has it where you come back, you're not coming back with the same fucking rank as you left with. And no, this thing is not about rank, but you can't sit here, first off, you shouldn't be talking to, the, the top leader of any church shouldn't be talking down to a brother. You know, brothers think that they could just twist up the scriptures to make it look like like uh, like Yahweh Shah was just walking around talking talking uh, reckless to, to the apostles. No, he, he checked one of his apostles and he, he was rather, uh, you know, strong with him, but he wasn't... You know, it, it, it's you. You can't sit here and tell me how I was walking around just being disrespectful to his disciples. So you brothers out there, that you know that that are leaders of camps, y'all gotta be careful how you talk to brothers, man, because those are some of the first things that they talk about or they remember when they leave your church. You know, and and, and it doesn't count as much for you, but it counts. You have to understand. You have to be humble in this thing. You can't. You know, again. Let, let's say this guy never left the truth. You're 21 years in, still being smug. You you still can't be smug with people. I still I, I don't respect leaders that are smug and 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 just have this superior attitude like they're above niggas. You know certain things I won't I won't let somebody that's that's an elder over me do. Like if we're we had a holy day, you know the last person that's gonna grab a fucking mop and bucket is gonna be, you know, uh, you know. I, I don't want to say an uh, elder because then brothers are going to look to me and grab a mop and bucket out of my hands if I have a, but I'm talking like an elder elder, like a man who's been in the truth like long, longer, longer than me, like Mathakua, you know, if, 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 uh, let's say hypothetically speaking, we had a holy day with Mathakua, which, you know, of course we don't teach the same doctor, so we wouldn't, but let's say he, he repented and, or whatever, not repented, but he realized, you know, certain things so he teaches the same thing he wouldn't he wouldn't clean shit he wouldn't pick his hand up to do shit you know i mean he's capable but me as somebody who who he brought up and helped to bring into this thing i'm not gonna sit i'm not, I'm not gonna let him just fucking grab a mop and bucket like you know what i'm saying like like things like that you have to be humble in this thing you know he would too you know he doesn't tell brothers hey you know, you, you clean up behind me, you know, but you have to be humble in this thing. This guy that I'm referring to, you know, from formerly of HYK, he's never been humble a day in his life. And now that he's left the truth and come back, when he should be even more humble, he's even less humble. So, you know, you have to understand in this thing, if you if you leave it, don't, don't think for a second that you're going to come back with the same rank, you know? Cause that's what it is. You're not going to come back in the same level. Now he's under me. Technically, if he was to come into my church, he would definitely be under me. Cause you've been in the truth a few months, technically. But with that, I'm going to say all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the house of David. Salutations to you brothers throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and righteousness and sincerity to you. Israelite foreigners come back home to the truth. To those that passed away serving the Lord, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. Shalom.